Welcome to your source for research, innovation, news, insights, and commentary. This is Research Business Daily Report. And we're sponsored today and this week by 4i, the science of growth. Using growth and foresight analytics, 4i helps companies to deliver more predictable and sustainable results. And that helps those clients realize unparalleled growth. There are probably few RBDR viewers who are familiar with an emerging social network known as ELO, or ELO, it's spelled E-L-L-O. Some Facebook members are taking note of it and blasting out messaging about their strong liking of this new invitation-only network. When I requested an invitation to become a member, I was asked to agree with the following statement, quote, your social network is owned by advertisers. Every post you share, every friend you make, and every link you follow is tracked, recorded, and converted into data. Advertisers buy your data so they can show you more ads. You are the product that's bought and sold. We believe there's a better way. We believe in audacity. We believe in beauty, simplicity, and transparency. We believe that the people who make things and the people who use them should be in partnership. We believe a social network can be a tool for empowerment. Not a tool to deceive, coerce, and manipulate, but a place to connect, create, and celebrate life." End of quote. That's quite a statement, not one that most people will probably disagree with. But I'm not ready to say that Facebook or any other social network better watch its back. However, there are individuals posting their reasons for departing other sites and joining this one. The proposed non-commercial state of this new site is also interesting to watch. And here is the URL for the site if you'd like to take a look for yourself. Word of mouth has its devotees, but I think it's fair to say that the uncertain and the cynical far outnumber those who are advocates. Of course, that doesn't make any position definitively correct. And an interview in this past weekend, Chicago Tribune included the revelation from Word of Mouth Marketing Association President Suzanne Fanning about a six-figure study involving brands and agencies that is supposedly going to determine the value of a consumer conversation. Of this research project, Fanning told the Tribune, quote, we think we'll make people realize how totally powerful the consumer conversation is, end of quote. The study, by the way, is due to be released in November. And the Information Commissioner's Office, or ICO, a UK independent authority that was set up to uphold information rights in the public interest is expressing its belief that app developers are asking far too much in the way of personal information. Of 1,200 mobile apps that ICO studied around the world, one in three, according to ICO, appeared to request an excessive number of permissions to access additional personal information. For instance, 32% requested location, 15% access to other accounts, and 10% sought access to the smartphone's camera. ICO is advising that collecting and processing the minimum data necessary for the task the app is supposed to perform is most appropriate. That's your Research Business Daily Report sponsored by 4i, the science of growth. Would you like to learn how to get a bigger bang from your insights and analytics investments? Well, join 4i's free webinar this Wednesday, October the 1st at 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Central Time. You'll learn there how to transform your insights and analytics functions into a more valuable resource that will deliver better understanding and enable action towards future growth opportunities. If you'd like to register, check out www.4igrowth.com. Have a great research day and we'll see you right back here with us tomorrow.